Paula, congratulations. Thank you so much. Very well deserved win on your table topics. This is the 2016 District 71 Table Topics Champion. Literally fresh off the stage. <laughs> Literally fresh off the stage. Still shaking. It's just shaking. It's yours. <laughs> Paula, tell us, what brings you to compete in a contest like Table Topics? Um, I suppose I started in Toastmasters in 2002. And I started originally in the Glenmire Club. And I had heard Toastmasters like everybody else. Uh, like most Toastmasters, I stood up for my first topic, um, spoke for 20 seconds, stuttered, sat down and said, okay, this can only get easier and this can only get better. And I would say what kept me going was support and friends and fun. Toastmasters is where you learn in a safe environment. Yeah. And if you start at five seconds and you get to 20 seconds, I would never have thought all those kind of 12 or 13 years ago and I'm here today, when I was 2016, going, I won the International Table Topics competition. Um, I've done the club competition a few times, the area finals, you know, you might come second in the club and then next year you try again. Um, I would be um, I would be competitive, but at the same time, I think, look, this is social and yes. this is a hobby. And, Toastmasters, I suppose, allows, has allowed me to develop my skills at work. Um, I have had great friends to Toastmasters, yeah. great confidence. You see the audience there today. Yeah. Everybody really enjoys it. Um, I like the impromptu nature of the topic. Right, yeah, yeah. Maybe because I'm lazy and <laughs> I couldn't write a seven and a half minute speech um, or keep the same speech all the time. So I love the impromptu nature of the topics. Um, we come from a family where there's a lot of Banter and yes. we see across the table, like we're a big Italian crop family, really. Um, so I, I just love that idea of the topic yeah. until you come into the room today and you hear the topic and you think, Am I hearing this properly? Mm. Am I going to answer it? Mm. Um, I <laughs> and I noticed that when you came up on stage, you just took a couple of seconds to focus on yeah. the topic that was on the lecture, and yeah. that just helps you to yeah. centre yourself. Yeah. You know, so would that be something that you would advise people to do? Yeah. Regardless of topics. Um, I think so. I mean, I think you, and even with, with whether it's in topics or in an interview situation or even in discussion, sometimes if it's a discussion with a friend, but I think in the topics, you're on the stage, it's 300 people, I think you need just to go, you know, okay, let's, yeah. because I suppose you're trying to get your audience. Um, you try to think of a line, a hook, yeah. to get them, yes. and then to kind of keep them interested. If you open your mouth and go, blah, 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 which that's where the learning yes. and the practice in the club um, starts. Yes. And you know, over time, you said you get from 20 seconds to a minute. Um, when you start in Toastmasters and somebody says, you'll be disqualified if you speak for more than two and a half minutes, you think, I want to meddle if I speak for more than two and a half minutes. I don't care about being disqualified. Because you think I will never be able to construct speech in two and a half minutes, start, middle, end. Um, but I just think that, you know, look, today has been, it's just a great day. You know, it's November 2016 and it has been a great day for me today. Family, friends here to support me. Um, I hope this will encourage more people to join Toastmasters and, um, you know, it's just about building up your skill, yes. your confidence, um, not taking yourself too seriously. Yes, I noticed that when you were talking, yes. It's a topic, yes. it's yeah. not life and death. Yes. Um, you know, I'm not Hillary Clinton going home crying today. If I hadn't won, I'm a happy lady going home today. Yes. This is social. Yes. It's personal development, it's leadership, it's social, it's skills, and it's just so enjoyable. And I really felt today, I couldn't even see the emotion I was coming again. Yes. When I was up on the stage, I really felt, um, I just the emotion, yes. and the support, and the warmth yes. from the audience. Yeah. Uh, my family were kind of like, yes, you really go to me. Yes. Um, you were a great example of, I'll go back to that, that, that observation I made about you just pausing, mm -hmm. because we hear that in Toastmasters a lot, don't mm -hmm. we, is use the pause for yes. effect. And I have to say, I was sitting there going, what's she going to say? 
you know, I was, I was waiting for you to, yeah. to kind of to speak, so it was yeah. really, really, really effective. And yeah. even though it might be a technical thing that helps mm -hmm. you to be centered, mm -hmm. from an audience point of view, I was waiting, waiting for what you were going to say. And then you get frightened if I pause for too long, <laughs> yeah. because the audience yeah. then gets nervous because they think, she doesn't she, Yeah, she's frozen. Yeah, so there yeah. is a balance in there between yes. the pause yes. and reading your audience in and then yes. not pausing for too long where they get nervous. Yes. Because then you get nervous because nervousness is Absolutely. completely contagious in the yes. pause. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah. Super. Last question for you, Paul. I just I'm aware that we're about to do the closing ceremony. You are the last District 71 champion winner that is ever going to happen in Ireland, as far as we know. So that's Hall of Fame already for you, okay. you know. And it's a big thing, I think, that you you know that this is the last time we're going to have this conference in this district in Ireland. Well, so I don't want to add to your emotion yeah. and make more emotional, but a huge congratulations to you. It was a well-deserved win. Thank you very much for coming in and talking to us. Thank you, Thank you so very much. much. Thank, Thank you. you. This is Sandra Losty, Dublin. Thank <laughs> you.